what is up guys welcome back to another video today's video is unfortunately on windows why well because i didn't have a choice because i wanted to bring you guys bloodborne that actually performed well we are running a 60 fps patch at 1080p so yeah uh, uh I'm, I'm basically just having bloodborne the windows at the moment to just record bloodborne for you guys if you guys are cool with this i will also stream bloodborne to play it a little bit for you but this is on my desktop there was an update since last night and i want to tell you about it so when you were moving around shaders were constantly compiling and this is not how the game is supposed to go so they added sort of a shader cache to it so it would no longer do that and now we are smooth in all directions from 60 to 50 fps and here's the other little bit of a thing that i have wrong uh i need to go to control panel that's not a control panel i need to go to control panel and i need to go and set the power so i make sure that i'm on the maximum amount of power i don't know where is power it's been years and we're gonna go with ultimate performance done it's probably not going to affect anything but my gpu is at 90 nine percent so we're gonna get into some fights okay as you can hear there's no sound effects there's only background noise oh, i'm gonna die i just want to fight as many of these dudes as i can get through oh die all right we're gonna go up here because i saw someone else go up here once I don't know how to play this game whatsoever, but yeah, I don't think that the FPS counter is updating properly, but it should give you, because this is 60. This right here is 60. It feels like it. Now, again, I am sad that I am forced to use Windows to get this to work, but unfortunately, Shad PS4 is a little bit too inconsistent on Linux. And are we still alive? How much health do we have? I can't really see. Come on. All right, I'm going to fight him. You kill him? I did. Ow. Oh, it's you. Hi. Aren't you an angry man? So this is at the beginning of the game. I know I have some pimped out weapons or whatever, but it is what it is. And I don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing. Oh, no. Oh. You jerk. Die. All I know is that if I press a button, I switch weapons. If I do that, I heal, I think. I don't really... I'm not really sure. Oh, did I just injure myself more? I think I did. Is there a button I can go into my inventory? Antidote, sedatives. What does this do? Uh, shift weight. A mature blood cocktail thrown to attract beasts. Go to create mists. I don't know what any of this is. Small bell. I don't know. I just want to heal. Well, look, I, I don't know what to do in this game. That's the thing. But I do like having the sword. I find it hits a lot harder than other things do. And the game does is, is kind of fast. And it does work kind of well. Which is nice. So, yeah. It's just that sometimes the lighting breaks a lot. I died, didn't I? I wasn't paying attention. This usually results in a crash. But I don't really know if it does or not. Because, again, I borked this. Yeah, I think we crashed. I want to do more gameplay like this. I'll be right back. It saved right when I died. That's so hateful. That really is hateful. Now what do I do? 
It borked my save already, man. I know what I can do. So if you run into this situation, I'm going to completely close this out and I want to add a secondary display capture so we can actually see uh, what is going on. And I don't want you to see my secondary display. So ignore this. This is here because I don't have a choice. Uh, if we end up actually resetting everything. So this is my save. And if I take all of this, I copy this. And you can basically just, one second, go wherever you have your Shad PS4. Mine is right here. I can go to users and I can go to save data and in here and in here. And uh, we can hit paste and replace all the files in the destination. And doing so will start you in the beginning of the game once again. So it allows me to get out of trouble and to uh, jump right back in. Now I am using a mod that does remove the motion blur in the FXAA because I want things to look actually pretty good. And uh, it doesn't really have a performance increase, but it does work nonetheless. And I'm hoping this works. We're, we're good. All right, so we're back inside. Now, I did manage to start a new game once, and when I opened that door, uh, it was fine. As you can see, we're at 30 to 40 FPS, 45. And as we get farther away from that room upstairs, let me just get out this right here. Okay. I need to figure out how to kill that thing. Uh... How do I? No, I'm trying to figure out how to, you know, roll and stuff. Okay. So basically like that. Got it. Is there stuff over here? Why can't I pick that up? Yeah, let's set out this door. I hate this trope in video games where opening doors is so ridiculously slow as if they're the heaviest thing in the world. It just makes me think the person I'm playing is incredibly weak. And I don't want that. So. I'm going to head this way. I mean, look at this. Come on. It's like he's asking you to get himself killed. Can you imagine doing that when there's a vampire around? Get your butt whooped. Now, I don't want to go over there. Now, the reason the game is rendering all weird is because it needs what is called bindless textures to be able to render. Some points, like when you're on a ladder, your character actually does almost fully render. And other times when you're off the ladder, it doesn't. So if someone actually made a mod, uh, they could do this because the game looks perfectly good here. But again, in other times, it decides not to render at all. I think it's down this way. I don't know where I'm going again. Oh, hello. So that way, I want to go this way. Oh, hi. Bye. They didn't see me? So we actually... Oh, it saw me. Oh, it saw me. Run. Hmm. Oh. No. No. Stay down. Oh, there's more. Okay, they're all dead now. I think we're good. Uh, there's one more coming, isn't there? Okay. Come on. Show me how to friggin'...
I killed him. We survived. All right, let's move on. I don't want to make this video too long, but if you guys do want me to stream this tonight, I don't mind. I will. Uh, again, it's not exactly the most stable experience in the world, but it is uh, playable. People have been fighting bosses and doing everything under the sun. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. You know, enjoy the video. If you did, hit the like button. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, and I will... I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.